Good evening, everyone. I am, <laughs> I am deeply honored to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month here at the White House. <laughs> Standing here makes me think of the giants whose shoulders I stand on, my ancestors, mi familia, whose strength and resilience flow through me today. My great-grandparents, Daniel and Guadalupe, and Catalino and Francisca were part of a wave of Mexican immigrants recruited to the U.S. in the early 1900s. They were young with little to their names, but had determination in their hearts. They worked on the railroads and in the fields, saving every penny, striving for a better life, not just for themselves, but for generations to come. They never stopped believing in the future they dreamed of. My abuelos, Isabel and Jose Alba, grew up in a world marked by segregation. They labored in the citrus groves and cotton fields, forced to use segregated water fountains and attend Mexican schools that offered half days and half chances. But despite the barriers, they never let go of their dreams. Jose believed in the power of education and made it to a private men's college, while my grandmother, with grace and sacrifice, raised five children. Jose's perseverance eventually secured him a white-collar job as an accountant, transforming the future for his family. That legacy of hard work and unwavering hope is something I carry with me every day, Through my, though my own journey was not without struggle. My parents, Mark and Kathy Alba, were just 19 and 20 years old when they had me. Living paycheck to paycheck, I was a sick child, in and out of hospitals, and I came to understand firsthand how deeply our health impacts our lives. My father's military benefits were vital to my care. Years later, when I became a mother at 27, I struggled to find safe products for my baby and family. I channeled my ancestors' drive and resilience to build a company focused on protecting the health of people and the planet. <laughs> the Biden administration's commitment to the health of our communities, clean air, safe water, access to health care, is personal to me. They understand the importance of giving everyone a chance to thrive just like my family. Today, President Biden and Vice President Harris have gathered us to honor the voices, stories, and contributions of our communities. My abuelito Jose never put limits on what I could achieve. I know he's proudly watching over me as I introduce a man who has stood up for our dreams. A humble public servant who served with honor and dignity. Put your hands together for the President of the United States, Joseph R. Biden.